simple graph. It is also called as an n-dimensional hypercube and it is denoted as Q with a subscript n. So it's a graph that has two raised to power n vertices. We have vertices representing the bit string of the length n. So what do we mean by bit string? So before that, we need to know what is a bit. So bit is a symbol that represents the two possible values, namely 0 and 1. So now what is a bit string? So bit string is a sequence of 0 or more bit means it is a sequence of 0 and 1. So length of that string means we need to count the number of bits in that string. For example, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, it's a bit string because it is a sequence of 0 and 1. And the length of this bit string is 6. Just count the number of bits in this case. Now moving back to the n cube. So n cube means it has 2 raised to power n vertices where vertices representation is bit string of the length n. So in this case, two vertices are adjacent if and only if bit string differ in exactly one coordinate. Or when you are taking the difference of the bit string, it gives you the one exactly one time. Note that when you are taking the difference of bit string, when you are saying that 1 minus 0, so answer is 1. And when you are saying 0, minus 1 the answer is again 1 because we are taking the difference according to the bit wise so answer is either in a positive 1 or a positive 0 it will never be a negative 1 example 1 cube so when we are saying a 1 cube means the total number of vertices are total number of vertices in 1 cube are 2 raised to power 1 that is as equal to 2. In 2 cube total number of vertices are 2 raised to power 2 that is as equal to 4. Now vertices representing the bit string of the length n means in this case vertices represent the bit string of length 1. So in that case, we have only two possible cases, that is 0 and 1. In the second case, when we are dealing with the two cube, vertex set consists of the bit string of length 2. So they are 0, 0, then 1, 0, 0, 1 and the last is 1, 1. So there are four vertices and that is the bit string of the length 2. Now we need to construct the one cube using these two vertices. So there are two vertices 0 and 1. So we need to find whether these vertices are adjacent or not. So for that just take the difference of these two 1. So difference will give you the 1. So we are getting exactly 1 in a difference. So it means they are the adjacent vertices. Now moving towards the 2 cube. So there are 4 vertices. So take 4 vertices over here. So suppose this vertex is 0, 0. So next is 1, 0. So take the difference of these two bit strings. So 1, 0, 0, 0. So their difference is 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So we are getting a 1 exactly one time in a difference. It means they are the adjacent vertices. So suppose this vertex is over here. So if they are adjacent means there is an edge between these two vertices. Next vertex is 0, 1. So suppose this vertex is 0, 1. Now whether they are the adjacent vertices. So for that again take the difference of these two 1. So 0, 1, 0, 0. 
सो डिफरेंस इज वन माइनस जीरो इज वन जीरो माइनस जीरो इज जीरो सो वेन यू आर टेकिंग अ डिफरेंस वी आर गेटिंग अ वन एग्जैक्टली वन टाइम इट मीन दे आर दी अडेस एंड वॉट अस इज नाउ वॉट अबाउट वन जीरो एंड जीरो वन वन जीरो एंड जीरो वन सो टेक द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू वॉट अस इज सो दीज टू नंबर दैट इज वन एंड इन दिस केस अगेन वन नाउ वी आर गेटिंग दी वन टू टाइम्स नॉट एग्जैक्टली वन टाइम्स इट मीन्स दे आर नॉट दी अजेस एंड वॉट अस इज so next is a 1 1 so that is the last vertex now this vertex is adjacent to this one or a not so take the difference over here or you can use this definition bit string differ in exactly one coordinate so if this is your x and this is your y in this is x this is y so x is placed at the same place whereas y coordinate system is changed so only one coordinate system is changed so it means they are the adjacent vertices and what about these two one so if it is a x and this is y in this case y remains same but the value of x is changing so it means they are the adjacent vertices now whether 0 0 and 1 1 are the adjacent so answer is no because in this case both the values of x and y are changing means they are not adjacent vertices now the next question is is q n is a regular graph so for that first we will study the q1 graph and q2 so q1 graph so what is the degree of this vertex the degree of this vertex is 1 degree of this vertex is 1 so degree of both the vertices are same and that is is equal to 1 therefore it is called as a one regular graph now what about the q2 degree of this vertex is 2 degree of this vertex is 2 degree of this vertex is 2 and in this case again 2 so degree of each vertex is 2 therefore it is called as a two regular graph so now you can observe q1 is a one regular graph q2 is a two regular graph so therefore qn is n regular graph so answer is yes and moreover it is a n regular graph so next is how many vertices in qn graph so answer is 2 raised to power n in a qn graph we have two raised to power n vertices so we know that every vertex has a same degree that is is equal to n in case of qn graph so the total degree of a graph so the total degree of qn graph is equal to 2 raised to power n into n so from here we can calculate the number of edges by the by using hand shaking theorem we know that the total degree of a graph is equal to twice of number of edges in a graph so total degree of this graph is 2 raised to power n into n that is is equal to 2 into e so the number of edges in this case is 2 raised to power n into n divided by 2 that is is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1 into n so the total number of edges in a qn graph is equal to 2 raised to power n minus 1 into n